Hey everybody, welcome to P-Dubs Arcade Loft. Hey, today we're going to be talk, telling you a quick story, uh, one that excites me as much as it tugs on my heartstrings and gives me all the feels because, uh, you know, uh, I'm super excited uh, to do this review today for you. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Angelo Otero and uh, he's been making uh, waves uh, throughout the Arcade 1UP uh, modding community on Facebook uh, for his marquees. Um, him and I have been talking the last couple weeks. We've been talking like every day and it, it feels like what I like about this community is it's like you're adding friends every single day. So today we're going to take a look at his stuff. We got a Mach 2 marquee, his new marquee that he's going to be selling uh, at a fantastic price. Um, and also, if you stick through to the end of the video, we're going to tell you how if you're a friend of the show, you'll also uh, be able to... Uh, get an even better price on his marquees uh, and then of course we have uh, he's adding wall art uh, to his collection so stay tuned and let's do it and I'm super excited for you Angel and uh, hopefully I can do you justice <laughs> For starters, I love this guy. He lives by the motto, if you can't stand up, stand out. And when it comes to the quality products you get from Angel and his group, This Ability, The Lab, his garage, which is a fantastic thing, it goes to show you that no matter what challenges you face in life, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. And this guy really has. Let's also make sure we recognize Mista Prophet, who is his graphic designer. Mista makes a beautiful, beautiful... Uh, artwork, which in turn partnering with his buddy Ainge, they're able to uh, come up together and uh, put together a fantastic marquee option for your machines. And as you can see from the photos of all these satisfied customers on Facebook, the artwork is fantastic, the hardware is fantastic, the assembly is easy, everyone's super happy, everyone's super excited whenever they receive something from Angel. He's got a library of over 900 different uh, marquees, plus he can do any custom marquee you want. On this video, we're going to be focusing on his Mark II marquee that he's just releasing. All right, guys, let's get right to the unboxing. Now, uh, when Angel sends his stuff, it's uh, professionally packaged in just the right size box for a marquee. Everything comes bubble wrapped um and, and uh well taken care of nothing was damaged or anything he even includes a nice thank you card and uh references to his facebook page and his uh his youtube channel first thing that uh that we kind of want to show you is the miss pack this miss pack man uh is his wall art uh this is fant a fantastic print um that he will mount for you you just use a simple picture hanging hook, have it go on the wall. He's, he's selling these for $25 uh, a piece, and he can do anything you want. He's got an inventory of over 900 marquees, and if he doesn't have the specific marquee you're looking for, he could definitely print it up just like he can his wall art. So this is a, a beautiful piece that I'm definitely going to be hanging on the wall, and I'm super, super excited about it. Um, this piece of wall art. So thank you, Angel, for throwing that in the package for us. We uh, we greatly appreciate that. Uh, but let's get to the piece de resistance, as we like to say. Here is our Mach 2 marquee. So compared to his Mach 1 marquee, which used a heavier acrylic, and uh, that thing weighed probably a pound, well over a pound, this thing weighs uh, definitely far less, uh, definitely... Uh, a quicker and easy item for him to manufacture. For those of you who have ordered from Angel uh, in the past, I'm, I'm sure you could comment on these pages that uh, when you place an order with him, he usually gets it out within a couple of days and it's on its way. Uh, so this is definitely an easier item for him to manufacture and it's still of great quality. Uh, the marquee is made out of wonderful uh, PVC, um, a very heavy duty PVC and of course we have our uh, lighter acrylic board here and then when it comes to print quality and graphics Angel as well as his uh, graphics designer uh, Mr. Profit uh, who is also on uh, the Facebook modding group pages they do a fantastic job making these designs and I am super super excited about this she's a beauty uh, in person the colors are definitely popping very vibrant and I can't wait to get this thing lit up there's the back of your marquee right there. 
Um, and then of course, um, here is uh, simple screw holes uh, to get this mounted into the existing panel. So the install, uh, putting this on our machine, should be fairly simple. Now along with the item in the box, we have our LED strip with our adhesive. Uh, so we can mount this on, <laughs> excuse me, on the on the marquee. So very excited about this. We'll have to get that on there. Uh, and then of course he provides you the mounting hardware included. So you got a couple of screws because when you take out the top two screws on your arcade one-up panel, you're going to want to reuse uh, the littler screws that he provides. That way they don't go in here too deep and damage the marquee. And then of course he provides the uh, the splitter harness and check this out I didn't even know he was going to include this. We're all about clean installs. When you guys uh, when we get upstairs to the Miss Pac-Man machine, you're going to love I got these all over the inside of that cabinet cuz I love love doing a clean install and keeping your wires organized. So it's nice that he threw that uh, in there for us. Um, and then of course we have our splitter cables. Uh, that way we can uh, run power to the marquee as well as to the um, as well as to the uh, the you know the arcade machine itself we'll be able to get it all get everything wired up powered up and we should be okay okay guys we're going to walk you through how to install one of Angel's marquees it's a fairly simple process so first thing you want to do is take out your top two screws And you can actually discard those screws because, like I said earlier, you're going to want to reuse the smaller screws that Angel sent you. After you get your screws out, you're going to want to loosen uh, this J-panel board as well. The reason why is you don't want to disassemble your entire cabinet, but you want to give it enough wiggle room. So I didn't, I didn't take the screws out, but I just simply... Uh, uh, loosen them that way I can get a little give in the cabinet uh, that way we can get this uh, pesky H panel out of the way so it might take some maneuvering but there you go H panel comes out unfortunately I have uh, speaker wires going through here because I installed my speaker on the uh, the roof of the cabinet there uh, so I'm not gonna be able I'm gonna have to let this thing hang a bit but there you go nice and simple Okay, and then you're going to want to get to the back of the panel, and you'll notice there's two screws that hold your monitor uh, to the marquee, so we're going to want to pop uh, those two screws out. And as you can see here, the screw was removed. So after you detach the marquee from the monitor, the marquee should now pop out fairly easily, just with a little wiggle, and there you go. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove this small blackout board that connects to the original stock marquee because you're going to want to reuse this board and attach it to Angel's uh, Mach 2 marquee uh, before installation to avoid any kind of light bleed. And away we go. Okay, time to get to the good stuff. We're ready for the mounting. So... Now that we have uh, the original stock blackout board connected to Angel's marquee using the same three screws that came with that board and definitely making sure that you have the screws nice and tight so that that seam is nice and flush. Um, if you don't have the screws, screws nice and tight, you're going to get some light bleed coming out the bottom. And now it's just a simple uh, step of uh, getting everything put together. We're, we've almost hit the finish line. Um, just need to mount this and we need to grab the two new screws that Angel included with the package because uh, you don't want to reuse the stock screws because they're just too darn big and they could wreck uh, the marquee. So uh, let's go ahead and get these uh, screws uh, put in here that Angel provided. Thank you for doing that, good sir. Now as we get the, uh, the second side screwed in here, uh, we're going to do a quick camera shot. With the sun coming through uh, the marquee, we haven't even installed the LEDs yet, uh, but uh, yeah, you could tell uh, she's going to look so pretty, so pretty, especially when that sun uh, comes through the marquee. Those LED lights are going to look great. Super excited. Let's get those lights put in. Uh, funny story, guys. Uh, after I got everything put together and screwed together, I didn't realize that my camera, video camera, had run out of batteries. 
Uh, so the part where we installed the lights is not uh, is not on here, but uh, you can kind of see through here. Uh, what we did is we laid uh, we laid uh, the light strip horizontal across the inside lip of that of that panel that connects the marquee to the monitor. That stock panel that you have to reuse. So imagine it's in an L shape. Here's the panel. And then here is, uh, and then going vertically would be uh, the marquee. So on that horizontal panel, that white panel, we went ahead and uh, glued uh, the uh, the strips on there, uh, so the lights coming up, uh, coming up out of the back of the marquee here due to my uh, speaker holes. Uh, so sorry about that, but yeah, that's how you'd want to put the strips. And then of course, when you come down to the inside, you're gonna have. Oh, here you go. You guys might be able to see it this way. See, we put it up there somewhere. So yeah, we put we mounted it flat on. So basically, the light strips flat on top of the monitor. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then of course, he runs the power down. You know, we have the power, and then you just connect it however you want. I got a sixty in one here, so I had to add an extra cable. But if you if you're going to the stock power supply, if you have a Pi mod or just the normal. Uh, PCB board you're just going to do the splitter and plug everything in it's pretty self-explanatory yeah uh, it's pretty probably the easiest step of the process is just plugging everything in okay okay guys we got her in and she looks pretty damn good pretty damn good can't complain now I taped the edges of Miss Pac-Man pink I still got plenty of tape left over so I'm probably Gonna tape the edges pink here, make her look pretty. Now remember, this is his Mach 2 marquee. It's uh, $55, pay via PayPal. Just reach out to him directly on Facebook. It looks fantastic. And if you want uh, to add an RF remote, uh, it's an extra five bucks. And uh, so we can kind of like go 25%, 50%, 100% obviously camera always distorts these so when you see them in the uh, other lighting 25% actually looks really good it gives you just enough light for what you need hang on a second I gotta I had to turn the overhead fan off it's adding a little shadow wave See that spinning? That's the fan above me, but it's stopping. All done. Looks better. And then, of course, you can change your brightness. 25, 50, 100. You can go up or down, you know, by percentages. Make it even darker, even brighter. It's a fantastic marquee. All right, Angel. Great job, buddy. I highly recommend this marquee. Great customer service, great price, free shipping, um, shipping's included, you can add an RF remote for five bucks, and if you tell uh, Angel that, uh, you know, P-Dub sent you, he'll knock five bucks off, and so basically you can get your RF remote for free, if that's the case, he'll throw that in there for you. Super fast shipping, great customer service, um, she looks beautiful as part of the cabinet. There you go, guys. She's absolutely gorgeous. Well, well done. Mr. Profit, your artwork is amazing. Angel, your marquees are fantastic. So happy to call you now a friend, brother. And uh, definitely going to be my go-to guy for marquees moving forward. For those of you who've ordered from Angel in the past, please speak up. And uh, let's get this guy some more orders in. Uh, right now, you can only order via contacting him through Facebook and place an order via PayPal. Uh, but once uh, he gets a few more orders in, guys, he's looking forward to hopefully getting that website launched. Thanks so much for tuning in to P-Dub's Arcade Loft. Please consider subscribing. Have a great day, guys.